Hello everyone, we will continue the topic transport organizer and in this video we will learn how to move the objects from one transport request to another transport request or we can understand how we can move the selected objects from one transport request to another transport request. Firstly, I will discuss the scenario. In which scenarios we need to move the objects from one transport request to another transport request. Suppose you are developing a program or any object by mistake you saved into another transport request. It means you need to move that object from the existing transport request to the new transport request because this is by mistake you save. Suppose I will go for second scenario. Suppose you are working in a program and that program finished and it is in another, it is in one transport request. Suppose you know, another program is assigned to you and you are working on the program and that another program also you saved into the same transport request. Now what customer or your supervisor is saying, okay, first program finished, please move this particular program to quality and production. Then in that case, you cannot release the existing transport request because the existing transport request has another program also and that program has not finished. Then in that case, what you will do, you will move the object, you will move the program which is finished from the existing transport request to the new transport request and you will delete from the existing transport request. Widely, widely used feature in the project. Sometimes, yes, we are working and we need to finish or we need to move the completed part to the other systems. Then in that case, we will move the selected objects to the new transport request and we will move those objects to quality and production. An extremely, extremely widely used feature from the project perspective. So what I will do, suppose I will create two programs. I will save those two programs into the same transport request. And then I will show you if you want to move one program or one object from the existing transport request to the new transport request, how you can do that particular part. Suppose I will go for SC38 transaction code. Suppose I will give some name to the program. I close this session. Okay, I will open. That was another user ID. I will go to SC38 transaction port. Suppose I will give some program name. Suppose I am saying ZPRG1. Suppose I will give simple title. Program for sum of two numbers. I will choose the type as executable program. Save. I will save into a package because I want to move it to quality and production. I will go for save. Now you can create a new transport request or you can use an existing transport request. It is totally your wish. Suppose I will go for new transport request. Suppose I will give that short description. Suppose requirement one sum of two numbers. I will go for save. And this is the transport request number generated. Now I will simply, simply write the logic. I will take two parameters. Suppose numc2, SAP predefined data element. So I am creating a sample program.
I will write the logic. Suppose I will say LV underscore output is equal to P underscore input one plus P underscore input two. I will declare LV underscore output. Type numc3. I'll check the syntax. I will activate. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements. Selection text. Suppose this is my first input. And this is my second. I will activate. I'll go to back button. Now I will simply, simply go for right statement. I will activate the program. Whenever I will give the input, this is the output. Perfectly fine. So this program I created and it is in transport request. Whenever customer will say, okay, we will move into quality and production. Suppose in between this, you got another requirement and you are going for subtraction of two numbers program. So what you are doing, you are going for SC38 transaction code. You are creating another program. You are going for create. Now suppose you are going for subtraction of two numbers. I will choose the type as executable program and I will save in the package and I am using same to same transport request. I will go for OK. Now this program also saved into this transport request. If I will show you through the transport request through SC09 transaction code, so you can see in this particular transport request, we have both the programs. This is our program one, this is our program. Now currently you are working on program two and suppose customer or your supervisor is saying, first program finished, please move it to quality and production system. But your second program is already going on, already going on. So what you will do, you will not release this transport request and move it to quality and production. Unnecessary half of the development program or half program is going to the quality and production. You only, only want to move this program to the quality and production system. Then what we will do in that case, we will create a new transport request and in that new transport request, we will only, only move this particular object. We'll move this object to the new transport request and we will delete from this particular existing transport request. So this is what we will do. Now, what I will do, suppose I'm creating a new transport request. It might be the case, there's no requirement of new transport request. Your supervisor is saying, this request is anyways going to quality and production. Please add this object to this request itself. Then suppose I'm creating a new, I will go for workbench request. I will give the short description. Suppose I'm saying requirement one, sum of two numbers. I will go for save. Now this is the new transport request number generated. Now you need to move this object from this transport request to this new transport request. So how, how you will do? Just simply double click, simply double click. Now you are able to see both the things. Your program one and your program two. Same thing. This is your request. This is your request. 
double click on your request, new request, new transport request. Go to change mode. Whenever you are going for change mode, it is asking for the which program ID, object and object name. Now just see here, do control Y. You all know control Y is yank. Just copy these three things. I'll again do control Y, sorry. Just copy this, control C. I will do control V. Now this particular object we moved to the new transport request same. Now this program we moved to the new transport request. It means it needs to be deleted from the existing transport request. So just select. Now we have a minus button here. If I will go to change mode, you can see minus button enabled. Just delete that. Okay. Okay. Save. Do not forget to save. Now, if I will show you both the transport request, you will be able to understand. If I will display, you can see we have two transport requests. In this transport request, in this transport request, we only only have the program one. In this transport request, now we have the program two. Now we can independently work on this particular program and this request will be here only. We can simply release this transport request. Do not confuse by this unclassified task because system will not allow you to add in the unclassified. So what you need to add into the main request, you can delete this unclassified also. No problem. Yes. Anyways, it is unclassified. You can delete this also. So I added the program to the main transport request itself. So this is the way how you can move the objects from one transport request to another transport request. An extremely widely used feature in the projects. Those who are working in the world, they can realize, yes, how effectively or how commonly you are, they are using this particular feature. You can simply release this transport request and this request will go to the quality and production system. But one important point, it should not be the case that there are five dependent objects. Suppose you have a program. In that program, you are going for a table and you created that table. So it should not be the case that you are only moving the program. That program will give a syntax error in quality and product quality system because your all dependent objects should go. Suppose in a program, you are going for some table, you are going for some domain, data, element. So all those dependent objects should go together. It is not the case that you are only moving the program. As of now, we developed the program that has only, only sum of two numbers logic, nothing. We are not using any table. So that's why it's an independent program. So please take care for the dependent objects. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered how we can move the objects from one transport request to another transport request. Commonly used feature in the projects Many times by mistake, we save the object into one TR, then we need to move it to another TR. Second most common scenario, your some work is going on and some work is finished and your supervisor is saying, okay, whatever is finished, move it to quality and production. Then in that case, we need to move the finished work to new transport request or already available request, which is going to quality and production. Then in that case, what you need to do, you can simply, simply double click on the request. You will be able to see the object. Suppose if I will go for this, suppose if I'm going for any request, this is the existing request. Suppose double click simply. Whenever you will double click, I'll go to back button. I will again come. You can simply, simply double click. 
whenever you will double click you will be able to see the object do control by it will be easy whenever you will do control by you will be able to copy that move uh, paste into the new transport request and go to change mode and there is a minus button delete from the existing transport request and please take care of that dependent thing it should not be the case that your program has so many dependent things but you are not moving it to quality and production at that time it will go lead into the syntax error so that's it in this particular video thank you